general consensus when I put it out to you guys last week uh, and said, you know, what should we do with the gable walls? Um, most people were up for leaving it exposed, so I take it back to the stone or take it back to the stone and lime wash it or, you know, paint it with a breathable paint. And I like that because it, it will keep everything breathable and uh, there's no risk of condensation and things like that. It does mean an uninsulated wall, but I think that's the route we were going anyway because I don't really like the idea of internal insulation, um, especially up here in the loft where we haven't done it elsewhere in the house. And we live with that throughout the house, you know, solid stone walls that have either been lime plastered or uh, exposed. So we're well used to that, but the rest of the insulation still makes us the most well insulated room in the house. Over in this corner I've been doing a little bit of investigation and I've decided that on this wall, whereas all this is lime plaster still, I've chipped away and I can see that it's a nice white light soft material. Um, at this point here, it turns to gypsum, where they've patched, um, possibly from where some flashing has leaked in the past and stained. That's not wet, it's just kind of where it's stained and corroded through the, uh, the gypsum. Um, unfortunately, what's happened is they've also rendered this with sand and cement, so that's rock solid. of footage from the last week or two I thought I'd bring you up and show you the finished walls both pretty much identical and um, what we discovered when we took it down uh, as you saw is there's a brick arch here um, so that's going to be quite a nice feature as well I thought there might be a wooden lintel in there like some of the other rooms in the house um, there is a timber below that arch and it's not really a beam because it only just notches into the stonework I imagine it's more of a form like a template for when they built the um, brickwork and also something for the last to go to when they did the plaster in the reveals. 
so I'll have a look. I mean, it's it, it does wiggle, so it's not structural, um, but it is kind of it might be easier to fit blinds and stuff to those. So there's one on this side and one on the outer leaf uh, or the outside of the stonework. So I might leave those in and then they'll be painted the same as the wall and they'll just kind of blend in. Right at the top there you can see the brickwork and that's the base of the chimney stack. And that, you know, this hole on this end, which is the, where are we? South, north, east, so on the east wall, um, the render was probably down to about here and it spread up and you saw that in that part where we were taking it all down what was white was kind of a, a cement render it took a bit of work to chip it off the stone has all survived okay uh, and obviously it's now breathable it was all locked in before any moisture but at the top there the that cement render doesn't come off the bricks as well so I need to do a little bit of tidying up and then what I'll probably do is just wire brush everything down make sure nothing's loose that's on there um, and then I'm going to try and line up some paint from Earthborn which we used in the bathroom uh, and that's the clay paint it's really thick and gloopy and it kind of basically smooths everything out and it kind of gives a lime washed cottage sort of look you know when it all gets all uh, um, kind of that smooth sort of undulating surface so that will fill in all these little bits if there are tiny bits of the pointing I can patch them up um, just with a little bit of lime mortar um, you'll notice I have, we brought the boards all the way along because obviously the, the pitch reef joins onto the gable ends but the boards, rather than scribe them to the stonework and have a bit of an air gap, I have used some foam in there. That's only about 50mm deep. Uh, it's obviously not breathable but I think for that small kind of sacrifice of having it wedged against there it's going to give a really nice seal and then obviously we'll need to take the plasterboard across to the wall as well so uh, so that's what I've done there to seal the insulation to the walls but we'll I'll kind of show that in detail in the next video pretty much the same but I'll show you the other end on the other wall all lime on this side all the plaster so much easier to come off no need for chiseling stuff off it's just a case of whacking it off uh, and right at the top there was already um, very loose, it blown away from the stonework anyway, so that was just about to topple down. Um, but that's it on that end. Thanks for people's tips and advice on the gable ends. We obviously listened to your comments and we stripped it back and we're going to make a really nice feature of those walls. So the next video is going to be the insulation throughout the whole loft. We've done, the, there's various different types of insulation I'll touch on. Um, obviously we've got the pitch roof, the stud walls and then the attic space. So that'll be the next one that's kind of the feature video i guess of the loft um project so far because that's the main thing people need to do to upgrade their um sort of loft spaces so that's it thanks for watching remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time